Hey, I apologize for the last video got cut off, but this is where I le we left off. If you didn't uh, uh, get this part, please go back to the previous video and actually look at question 39 for the beginning. Okay. Uh, so we got the legend, and we're trying to figure out the uh, uh, the question here and how to actually approach it. Okay, is it the product of the second and third integer, which is uh, this number two. A product means multiply, so it's two, the second integer times the third one. Right, is which is equal uh, 20 more than 10 times the first. Well, 20 more is going to be 20 plus 10 times the first, and that is 10 times the first number, whatever that is. Okay, so let's plug these in with the actual uh, variables here. Okay, well, the second number is n plus 2, so it'll be n plus 2. All right, I'm just getting that from my legend. The third number is n plus 4, the n plus 4. And that's equivalent to 20 plus 10 times the first number, which is n. Okay. All right, let's uh, simplify this. Uh, this should be property. Uh, n times n is n squared. n times 4 is uh, 4n. 2 times n is 2n, and 2 times 4 is 8. Okay. That's equivalent to 20 plus 10n. Now let's combine these like terms. n squared plus 6n plus 8. Alright, now let's put everything on one side. So let me subtract 20 on both sides. Okay, and also subtract 10n on both sides. This way I have n squared, and uh, 6 minus 10 is negative, 4n minus 12. It's equivalent to 0. Okay. And uh, if you if this looks familiar, it's a quadratic equation. So from here, uh, we set, once we set it to zero, we actually have to factor this out again, again now. Okay, again, think about two numbers that multiply to get you negative 12. And when you add the same two numbers, you will get negative 4. And that is n minus 6, n plus 2. Those are your factors. Therefore, the root is going to be uh, n minus 6 equals 0. Therefore, n equals positive 6. And n plus 2 equals 0. Therefore, n equals negative 2. Okay. Uh, if you remember from the question, we're looking for positive even integers. Right? I'll scroll up. I'll show you. It says right here we're looking for three consecutive positive even integers, and keyword here is positive, okay? only positive numbers. Now let's go back down to the roots. Well, negative 2 is not a positive number, so we can't use that. And that crosses out, and we can only use 6. So 6 is n, and we'll take that 6, go back up. And so the first number, n, is 6 over here. Therefore, the next consecutive even number will be n plus 2, which is 6 plus 2, 8. And after that, it's going to be 10. And there we have it. We have our three, end, uh, three numbers, 6, 8, and 10. All right. Uh, hope this helps a little, my videos here. And uh, good luck on the regions. It's coming up. Take care.